All right, welcome, welcome. We are going to get started this morning with a five minute warm up. If you wanna go out for a run, go ahead and do so. If not, just stick here with me. I will start the timer right now and we're gonna get warm. We're actually gonna start kind of slow this morning. We're gonna start with um, alternating lunges. So we're just gonna get a good stretch right now. So we're just gonna alternate those lunges. Get that balance. Nice long stride and then a nice two second hold at the bottom. A little bit of a stretchy lunge. Good. Let's switch it up and go into a set of 10 body weight squats. Nice and low. And then we're going to go into a side lunge. So we're going to push to the side, but we're going to get a couple second hold here. And you're just going to switch sides. Get that good stretch. Make sure you hold a good two, three seconds. Good. Let's come back to our squats. Let's go sumo squats this time. Ten right here. Then we're gonna go ahead and start that jog in place. Now we'll get that heart rate up. Just join me in a jog when you're ready. And then get them up to high knees. Pitch it up to butt kicks. Heels up to your butt. Uh -huh. All right, bring those feet together. Let's go side to side, line jump. That squeaky feet. Good, let's Frankenstein walk. Stretch it out. Good old Frankenstein. Good, let's come into some arm circles. Keep those arms warm. So nice big circles forward. And then reverse. And we'll break them down smaller. Forward. A little bit tighter circles. Nice job. Reverse it. And then let's go ahead and scissor it out. And we're going to go for two walkout push ups today. Get those two to three push ups at the bottom. I want you to stretch um, those legs too. So keep those legs nice and straight on your walkout. Yeah, nice and slow. Walk down. At least two push ups at the bottom before you walk back up. Good. Go ahead and get a second one. Check out my timer here. We should be getting close. Yep, about 40 seconds. And we'll finish with some fly sit-ups. So get that second walk out. That good stretch. And then have a seat and start some fly sit-ups.
Good. Last 20 seconds here. We'll go with those fly sit-ups. Reaching up to the sky, pushing forward. Grab a few. Job and you can rest. You can grab a quick drink if you need to. We're going to be going into um, four different sets today, and uh, basically they just kind of have a theme to them. They're structured. Since it's body weight today, it's usually a little bit more cardio based. Um, I do have a really good strength set in there. Um, it's going to be upper body, and we actually will finish with some core today as well. So that first set. Is going to be more of your high intensity set. It's going to get that heart rate up. You're going to burn some calories. I saved and did not do any jacks in our warm up. That's because they're all coming right here in this set. Here's the deal I'm going to allow you to choose which jumping jack you do for which rep number. You are doing five reps of one of our four jacks, 10 reps, 15 reps, and 20 reps. So, for example, what I'm going to do on my board is I have it laid out the way I want to do it. I'm going to do five super jacks. Then I'm going to do 10 steel jacks. Then I'm going to do 15 squat jacks. And I'm going to finish with 20 regular jacks. So those are our four jacks, okay? Regular, we've got steel, we've got squat, and then our super jack. So again, you have to choose one jack for five reps, one jack for 10, one for 15, and finally one for 20 reps. We are doing this four rounds in a row, guys. I don't have... Um, this set up as a specific time. So I want you to complete all four rounds. Once you do with quality reps, we can rest. So I'm starting with five reps. You're welcome to flip that if you want and start with the 20 reps, but I'm going to go to my five, my 10, my 15, my 20. That's going to be one round and we've got to get four of them. I'm just going to set a timer just to be curious on how long this might take us, but let's get started. Again, five reps of one of the jacks. I'm going super. Y'all can switch this one up. A lot of you might want to do squat jacks and then steel jacks. That's up to you. I'm going into my 15 rep exercise now. Smart guys. Good stuff. That's one round down for me. When you're done, take a break if you need it. If not, just jump right into that next round. Technically, you can switch up your exercises if you want. Just making sure you get five of something, 10, 15, and 20. Nice job. Definitely getting that heart rate up on this. Push through it. We get those legs on fire as well. As that heart rate up.
Nice work, guys. Great job. Keep pushing. Take a break if you need to. Just don't get sloppy on me. Don't start bending at your waist. I don't want you to put strain on your lower back. Get up. Good guys. Work, keep it up, keep it up. Getting there. Nice work. We're at four and a half minutes in. Doing great. When you get into that last round, do me a favor, keep that form on point. Take breaks if you need to. Otherwise, get after it. Nice work. If you finish that set, you can choose something as a filler exercise until I call time. If need be, it could be up to you. It could be cardio. It could be squats. Nice work. Good stuff, good stuff. Nice work. And grab a drink break. That was a Let's check here. Just over six minute round. Kind of where I thought we would be. If you need a little bit more time to finish, please do so. If not, just grab a drink and we'll get into a new set. All right, good news for this next set. We're gonna shoot for two rounds, two times through. It is four exercises. It is keeping the same rep numbers. So you're gonna do five, 10, 15, and 20. We are doing different types of push-ups. So this will obviously be, a, obviously be a little bit more challenging, especially I know for me, this is the thing I need to work on the most. So I wanna talk about our push-ups and then I'm gonna let you loose with which, assigning whichever rep number you want for what push-up. When we're talking regular push-ups, I shouldn't have to demo those. Those would be regular or modified, meaning from your knees, okay? So you're just doing your normal shoulder width apart, lower your chest, your hips, and up. Again, those can be modified from your knees. Uh, another push-up we're going to do today is called an ATS push-up. It is for active guy. You need to get way up on, on those tiptoes, and then you're going to take your head down towards your mat, and back up, okay? Um, we're also going to do a hand release version. So you're going to be laying all the way down, pressing all the way up, all the way down, 
all the way up. And then the last one that we're gonna do, because I decided to be nice, to throw in some cobra push-ups, okay? So you're just gonna basically take those hands, you're gonna turn them out, that's gonna bring those elbows in, and you're doing short, quick tricep push-ups. So again, rep numbers, five, 10, 15, and 20. Your push-ups are regular, hand release, ATS, and cobra. We're going for two rounds here, guys. I do not want you to rush. So if you happen to get done before someone else, I'll just be giving you a filler exercise. So take your time, quality push-ups here. Everybody ready? I'm setting my timer just to see how long it might take us, but we're going for two rounds, two times through. Here we go, five reps of something up to 20. Nice work. Just a couple things to think about, guys. Nice tight core. Most of your push-ups, you're going to lower those hips and your chest at the same rate. Obviously, the Cobras, you're only coming up to about your waist. And the ATS, you're kind of just doing a top of the shoulder push-up where you're taking your head down to your back. Keep it up. Work guys, take breaks where you need to, and then get back in there. Nice job. Getting into that second round, about two and a half minutes in. I do expect though that this round would be a little bit slower because obviously you should be getting pretty fatigued. So do me a favor, take your time on these. Take a break if you need to. Good stuff, guys. Hold yourselves accountable for quality push-ups, okay? Nice job, guys. Finish strong. Try to breathe. Push through it, guys. Only two rounds. Thank goodness. 
Only two rounds for this. As you finish, if you want, you can go into uh, maybe some squats, some line jumps, uh, basically anything to keep you moving. Nice work, guys. And go ahead and rest. If you need just a little bit more time to finish that set, go for it. You can always pause the video if you're doing the recording. Um, if you don't need more time, we're just going to grab a drink and move into our next set. That was just about five and a half minutes. If you need extra time, like I said, go ahead and finish out that second round of push ups. Otherwise, we are going to be going into an eight minute AMRAP. What this means is as many rounds as possible in eight minutes this time, because I know that this is gonna take different amounts of time for certain people, depending on the exercise. So I don't want you to have to stress about how many rounds we're getting, okay? I just want you to work with quality form. We do have the same structure in that you are picking five of one exercise, 10, 15, and 20. We are doing Mary Catherine's per leg. So for example, on my board, I've got them first. So that would mean I would only have to do five per leg. So again, we're here, up nice and tall, dropping that back knee really close to the ground, okay? Don't just do this. I really need you to get deep into that lunge. We're also gonna do 180s. So for example, I'm gonna count every single squat 180 that I do, and I have them on there as my 10 exercise. So I'm going here, one, back down into my squat, that's two. We then have mountain climbers per leg and skaters per leg. So for example, I have down on my board to do 15 mountain climbers per leg, and then I'm gonna finish with 20 skaters per side or per, yeah, per direction basically. So mountain climbers, just a quick reminder, getting those feet all the way up and skaters here, kicking that back leg through, hopping basically one leg side to side. So AMRAP eight minutes. I know that sounds like a long time, but some of this stuff's gonna take us a little bit of a little bit of time. So I don't know how many rounds we're gonna get. We're gonna we're gonna find out right now. Eight minutes, Mary Catherine's per leg, 180 squat jumps, mountain climbers per leg, and skaters per side. Five, 10, 15, and 20. Start wherever you like. Eight minutes to push, guys. Let's go. We got core after this, so do not be afraid to push yourselves. Ready, set, go. Got that timer going. Nice job. Nice work.
work, guys. Don't forget our mountain climbers and our skaters. Our per leg numbers. That chin up, shoulders back, even on these skaters. Nice work. You guys get it. Keep that heart rate up. I keep it moving. Short break if you need them. Nice job. Don't forget, as you finish your round, take a quick break and get into your next round. We're just going to get as many rounds as we can in this eight minutes. We're almost to the three minute mark. Nice work. Up, guys, not an easy set. Definitely getting that cardio burn today. We are over halfway now, guys. We are at the four and a half minute mark. Work, guys. Nice work. Yeah, you got this. Come on. We check that timer for you. Everybody keep pushing. Yes, we're at six minutes. Two to go, guys. Last two minutes. Push. I don't care where you are in your rounds or your sets. Don't be afraid to start a new one. Get in there. Think about your posture. Don't bend at the waist. Chins up, shoulders back. Good stuff. All 
All right, big push, 90 seconds. Work, come on, push through it. Get down to that last minute. Final minute, guys, let's go, big push. Everybody moving. Job. Doesn't matter where you're at, keep moving. So we hear that buzzer. Nice job. Final 10 seconds. Here we go. And time. Good stuff, guys. Drink break. We will be on our behinds to start the next set. We're going to go through four different core exercises. And we're basically just going to finish out our time. So it is going to be an eight minute AMRAP as well. Eight minutes of core is going to be good. It's going to be brutal, right? I have one exercise that will be. Actually, we'll do two exercises that'll be per side, so they may take a little bit longer anyway. So hopefully at least two times through, if not more. Let's just do it together. I'm going to start my timer. We're starting five reps. I'm going to go through the first set at my numbers. If you can use those, that would be great. When you get into the second set, if you want to mix up those numbers and do it as your own lotto, you can do that. Okay, let me lower this so you all can see. We're starting with five. V up roll ups. If you know what that is, it's basically a flat leg sit up and then a V up. So if you can join me in five reps, sit all the way up, touch your toes, roll back, V up. Two, one, two, and five. Gonna go into a side plank next. And we're gonna do reach unders. We're gonna do 10 per side. So we're double stacking those feet, arm up nice and tall to the sky, reach all the way underneath, square your shoulders with the ground, and all the way back up. 10 per side. Don't rush these because you're only cutting down your plank time if you rush. The longer you stay in that plank, obviously the more work you're putting on your core. We're getting 10 per side. So we did five V-up roll-ups, 10 side plank reach-unders. Again, super important here to really turn those shoulders and reach underneath. We'll be back on our behinds again for full sit-ups for our 15 rep exercise. We've got 15 full regular sit-ups. Work guys, 15 sit ups. Back 
as you finish those sit-ups, we have our 20 rep exercise left, and we are going to be doing bicycles. So keep your mind on those bicycles. You're going to be doing a per side number or per leg, and you're just going to go at a nice moderate pace, shooting those elbows outside your opposite leg. 20 per leg. Take a break in there, please do so. Good stuff. As I check my timer, guys, this is going to be perfect to be able to complete two full rounds of this. Keep in mind, when you start round two, you don't have to use the same numbers we just did. You have V-up roll-ups, side plank reach-unders per side, sit-ups, and bicycles per leg. You can assign those numbers however you want. We, have the, we are exactly halfway through this AMRAP, so go ahead and get them started. Any order, any rep number, make sure you use all rep numbers, 5, 10, 15, and 20. Let's finish out strong. Nice job, guys. Just under three minutes to finish this. Nice work. Try to get a steady breath going on these four exercises, guys. We are in our last few minutes. Final two minutes right here. Let's finish it up. work guys. Work through it. We got just over one minute. If you finish nice and even on a round, you can always go into a plank hold. That's what I'm going to do for my final minute. If you're still working on your reps, go ahead and get them. And we'll all finish together at that eight minute mark. Here we go, final 45 seconds.
20 seconds. Nice work today, guys. This was a quick one, good cardio, burn, a little bit of strength in there with our push-ups, and finish it out with some core, last few seconds. And time. Good stuff today, guys. If you need more, you can always go for a run, stretch it out, do some yoga, whatever you guys need. Good stuff.